I'd like to tell you a little bit about the JM presses that you may have read or heard about. That term was coined by Lou Simmons and George Halbert at the Westside Barbell Club in Columbus, Ohio. When I started training there early on, uh, it was one of the only tricep exercises that I ever used, and I credit it and its motion to literally all of my tricep strength. Now, I have refined some movements from time to time, but for the most part, I credit all of my tricep strength to this motion, uh, which they, I used to call simply tricep work. When I started going there and started doing it routinely, they all watched me do it, and they started doing them too and called them Blakely presses or JM presses. So that's where the term came from. Not that I tried to invent anything, it just happened that way. Uh, the exercise is performed with a narrow grip, but not exceedingly narrow, about 16 inches or so. The inside of the knurling, one or two fingers on the smooth. The elbows are kept out from the body at about 45 degrees, no further and no less. So they're not kept in tight like a regular French press, and they're not out to the sides like a bench press or, or any kind of other press. They're at about 45 degrees from the midline of the body. And the elbows are kept up. They're not allowed to come down so that you can involve the shoulder. So the motion is simply holding the arm on itself the elbows up and then punching out. Punching out. Not allowing the shoulder to do any of the drive work. It's simply folding the arm on itself and then pressing out. As you come down, you need to cock the wrists back to hold the bar and then punch out. And that's just the motion right there. It places a tremendous amount of stress on the tricep tendon, so you need to be careful. Start with exceedingly light loads and work your way up. The tricep tendon will adapt to that, as all tendons do, over time. But if you go too fast, too soon, rest assured you will feel that. And you will not like it. Uh, take your time. But the strength will come. Everybody that's done these has had a rapid increase in strength. And as long as you don't irritate those joints, uh, that will just simply continue. So I'll go ahead and demonstrate it now. I don't use an arch on this because the range of motion is already short. Taking a grip of about 16 inches. stopped because I'm stopping and holding the weight. The motion stops because there is no more range for it to go because the tricep tendon is stretched. If I were to move the shoulder, that would allow the bar to come down further. The bar simply stops, not because I'm holding it at some angle or position, but it simply stops because the arm doesn't bend any further. Everything gets balled up. For some people that's lower and some people that's higher. The more mass that you have there, that's the point that it stops at. And I'm not holding the bar there and waiting for it to stop. I let it come down as far as it will come and then press out from that point, getting a full stretch on the tricep tendon. Let's take a look at that motion from a little bit of a different angle. I'll continue to demonstrate. About 16 inches on the grip. Make sure you have enough space away from the post. Lay flat. Elbows out at 45 degrees, and stay up towards the ceiling. Bar stops because the elbows stay up. Press out. Bar is brought down to the chin, throat, or upper chest level. As you descend with the bar, it's not over your head or nose, it's not over your chest, it's somewhere in the, the throat area, the chin, throat, the upper chest level. The bar will come down naturally at that point, and then driven back up. A couple of common mistakes that you want to watch out for with this. 
Number one is keeping the elbows too close or too far, most often too far. That puts excess pressure on the shoulder and it also involves the shoulder. This is a tricep exercise. So keep the focus on the elbow joint. Allow as little motion in the shoulder joint as possible. So bring the bar down and fix the shoulder joint. This is the joint we're concerned with. Don't allow motion at the shoulder joint. So, 45 degrees out, fix that position. Bar comes down, 45 degree angle. Press out. Don't let it drift out, and don't pull it in too far. Okay? Second common mistake is letting the elbows come down. Letting the elbows drop. Thereby, again, stretching the shoulder and allowing it to start some of the push. You don't want any drive or power to come from the shoulder muscles for a tricep exercise. So bring the bar down and generate that first initial push, not with the shoulder, but with just the triceps. Nothing but tricep drive. I'd start this exercise out very lightly. Start with maybe four or five or even six sets of 10 with an extremely light weight, 95 pounds or less. Uh, the reason for that is you need to practice. And if you do three sets of six, you're only getting 18 repetitions to practice. So for maybe a month, maybe even longer, maybe up to five or six weeks, just do lots of repetitions and get the form down so that you're holding things tight. Things aren't moving around on you and you get the feel of focusing the work in the tricep and the elbow area. Then after that, the normal training regime would be a standard four sets of six with uh, you know, whatever your 6RM is. And a 6RM is how much you can do for six reps. So the first set, you'll be able to do all six repetitions. The second set's in question, and the last two sets are where you push yourself to improve. So the first set, you might get six. The second set, you might get five. Third set, four. Fourth set, four. When you can do all sets of six, then move up five pounds. And as for all heavy exercises that are joint related, I would only recommend once a week, and uh, anything more than that is probably going to lead to overtraining. If you feel that you can do this exercise or any heavy exercise more than once a week, I would suspect that you're probably not pushing yourself hard enough on these exercises. I personally use, uh, I have used up to 535 pounds for sets of triples on this. At this time right now, getting ready for the competition I'm currently getting ready for, at the body weight that I'm at right now, the 242 class, I'm using 495. Well, I hope that shed some light on what we call the JM Press, and I hope that it was helpful. Um, I also hope that you give it a try and uh, try to uh, fit some of those ideas into uh, your training. It may not be the exercise for you like it was for me, but uh, I'm pretty sure that you'll find some use for that at some point in some cycle of your training that uh, you'll get something uh, very good out of it. Um, I'm in L.A. now. Um, been here one week and uh, I'm going to set up shop out here and uh, hope to do some coaching of athletes and competing and this would be a, this would be a West Side West uh, if I can uh, steal that uh, from, from Lou Simmons. Um, but uh, uh, if anybody needs to contact me, there will be information at the end of the video and uh, please do. Any questions are always welcome.